starting with starting with the greatest name of almighty allah who knows the secret suffer hurts who is omnipotent omnipresent and omniscient who created you me and this whole universe dear audience some people are born great some achieve greatness while others have greatness thrust upon them but mr jinnah qualifies all the criteria of being a great leader qaid azam muhammad ali jinnah was one of the prominent leaders of his age who granted freedom to the muslims of subcontinent from the manacles of slavery and chains of discrimination he led them through the dark and desolate valley to the sunlit path of freedom justice and peace he confronted all the hurdles posing threat to the muslim in trust with great courage and determination and took this appeal to the majestic heights of success in a very short span of time he articulated the aspirations of indian muslims which resulted in the creation of pakistan by then the largest muslim state on the world map the role of mr jinnah did not end with the creation of pakistan he crafted his economic policies currency developed military network besides creating educational infrastructure across the country Dear audience, Qaid Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah was one of the prominent personalities and recognized leaders of the subcontinent. His sound and vibrant political career, spanning through many decades, reflects his sagacity, sincerity, courage, audacity, perseverance, and proficiency in the political arena. There is no doubt, yes, Mr. President, there is no doubt that he altered the direction of the flow of stream, the freedom of the subcontinent. In each shattered the fall of the great british empire the doors of freedom which were closed for the third world started opening on the emergence of pakistan imperialism had to pack up and depart from many parts of the world spreading from indonesia to algeria <laughs> dear audience when the way to freedom was dark and fade when the future of the muslims was under the blade when there were no hopes for us to float when the enemies were throwing the words of gloat when the rights of the muslims were snatched and abused when for every wrong happening muslims were accused when there was hatred chaos and discrimination when there was bias favoritism and victimization when there was no one to come up and lead when there was no one to stop wounds bleed their emotions the charismatic the astounding the unmatchable mr muhammad ali jinnah he leads the muslims of the subcontinent on the way to freedom then on 14th of august 1947 they emerged a country on the world map named as pakistan the audience the status quo demands folk unity avoid political wrangling and racial bias we have hurdles on every front our enemies have sinister designs to destabilize pakistan politically economically and militarily they are bent upon creating internal instability and chaos to weaken the very foundation of the nation but mr president our gallant armed forces and vigilant intelligence agencies are well aware of their nefarious various intentions and are fully capable to upset the rapal cart there and then let me conclude my speech with the golden words of mr jana i don't believe in taking the right decision i take a decision and i make it right thank you all